This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at is the pulse station that I've been building. As you can see, I've added a few more components to it. On your left, two inputs, one for the control voltage in, that's on the top, and the one on the bottom left is for the voltage that goes to power the cells. So those are two inputs. Those two wires on the center of the board coming out are for test leads to two meters to see what the settings are or the resistances that the knobs create. There's another picture of the pulse cell, the two 6 by 12 inch plates in there that we were testing the other day. By the way, those plates are what you were just looking at. I have not emptied any of it out. The clarity of that water speaks for itself. You can see the control voltage on the top, the cell power in on the bottom. I have two switches there that turn those two off and we have a master shutoff switch. Those are two controls there that control one side of the pulse width. I call those tap one and two. That's so I can jack into the system with a, with two meters. These knobs here control the other side of the pulse system. Again, if you look on that uh, cell there, you can see how clear the water is. I have not emptied that water out since we last tested it. And you can see it is crystal clear which again shows that by not using the tap water or by using clean water, you get clean results. What we're looking at here is the resistance panel that I have hooked up to the system so I get straight answers out of it. There's the back or the inside. You can see it's beginning to look a lot more confined in there. It's a panel on the right side, which I have not built my electronics for yet there. You can see the pots. just a moment, we're going to go back to the cell and turn it on for a couple of tests. I'm going to show you just how much hydrogen you can produce from this. What I did was put in a half level half teaspoon of lye in the cell. so we could see exactly what kind of gas it will put out. It's another view of the front of the panel I'm working on. Got a lot of work to do on that. So we're doing two things at the same time. I was hoping the pulse unit would be ready by now, but I can see there's got a lot more work to do. Here's the cell. The two plates are in there and what we've done is like I said I put a half a teaspoon of lye in there. 
We're turning on 12 volt system, no charger. And you can see just how much hydrogen it's producing. So much that I cannot leave it on for very long. Take a look at the amp meter. And it's really only putting out, or it's only drawing 20 amps and going down. Remember, this cell is a gallon and a half of water. And if you bring that down in measurements, we're talking about a pinch of lye in a regular cell. I turn the unit off so you can see how it dissipates and that there's absolutely no discoloration in this cell at all. I had a number of people emailing me telling me that a good idea would be to use tap water and put it through a filter. I think that's a great idea if you can do it. And probably I'll be working on something like that. But meanwhile, you can see how clear this water is.